Well, kia ora, welcome back to the garden. It is December already and uh, I have not been good at keeping up with posting throughout the year. I have put it all into one video and so you get an update on the whole, on all of this over 2023. It's been a difficult year, it's just been wet and cold all the time and uh, my motivation for keeping on has been hard. I've been good at coming by and checking it's watered, emptying the rubbish out kind of thing but you know no real drive to, to make huge change just kind of maintaining it but um, you know you'll see more in a minute it's been absolutely pelting with wind and rain the last couple of days we've had a lovely tropical storm and uh, my garden has taken quite a bit of a brunt of it I'm not sure there's a lot I can do right now um, to deal with the the fennel and the hollyhock that have fallen over and gone in every direction uh, but that's uh, I'll have to wait until the weather stops it's not gonna stop for another few days yet this is just a temporary break in the rain okay so we're back in the garden it's the middle of, of January and it's the week after those big storms I was telling you about okay so we're in the middle of uh, January and you'll never guess what's happened again because uh, someone has decided that uh, what's mine is theirs apparently and fuck anyone else uh, well happy duty all right so it's the uh, 21st of January back here in the garden as you can see the weeds are creeping up a little bit more uh, and finally I think those flowers that I had at home are ready to be planted down here hopefully they're going to take and weeding done and I put in uh, two spring onion over there this flower that I've been growing in a jar at home another spring onion there and then two spring onion in a jar there first weekend of February we've just had uh, a week of terrible storms uh, but as you will have seen in the video, which I'll post up in this corner here, uh, I got through relatively skate free and you can see the garden's actually doing quite well. My goodness, the chives have taken off. You can see some of the, I think this is my parsley seed starting to sprout uh, and a few weeds that I'll need to deal with. Well, uh, today is the, I don't know, the something of, uh, of February, middle of, it's, it's the middle of weekend anyway. And, uh, We've just had Cyclone Gabriel go over and um, of course that was uh, horrific um, but people in Auckland got off, at least in central Auckland, got off quite well and the garden is looking fantastic. Uh, as you can see it needs a bit of weeding. Alright, weeding done, bucket of weeds as evidence and everything's just looking a little bit tidier. Alright, so we're in the uh, last week of last weekend of February and uh, here's the garden we've mentioned in the last month we've had three tropical storms uh, and there's been destruction across all across the North Island uh, and somehow the gardens here have got off absolutely extremely well it isn't much to look at at the moment but you know we've got the bok choy um, <laughs> flowering now so I guess that's done stash the uh, as, as usual the comfrey is doing amazing uh, look at what my you said it was a lemon but it's really starting to look like a lime tree is doing my marigolds have come back pansies are everywhere the parsley is growing well I might need to do a quick little weed in there to keep some of the trash out somehow my hollyhock is flowering again I'm sure that's a different color to last time uh, and the fennel is simultaneously dying off and regrowing so this is a odd situation to be in unfortunately you can see my tomatoes have had it I think the weather was just too much for them but sprouting a bit from the base there and my goodness that chive is taking off it's almost going to seed all right well uh, here we are on the first weekend of March my goodness already uh, and here we are back at the garden and uh, I've already gone and done a bit of weeding, I'm going to water in a second and I'm going to finally de deadhead the uh, the fennel there. I don't think there's any usable seeds left um, and the hollyhock there. I've cleared out uh, some weeds and I've tidied up the parcel in the edge so the marigolds can actually breathe. So I know it's out of season but I kind of need, feel like I need to do something. I've just been doing maintenance in the garden lately, just watering and, 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 and a bit of weeding um, and occasionally picking some stuff. Uh, but I haven't really done anything strategic with the garden. Well, it's the uh, 19th of March. I can't believe it. it's that far through already. Uh, and we're back here in the garden. You can see parsley has, has sprung up. Oh, well, uh, we're back in the garden. It's the uh, 
26th of March uh, and you can see things have been picking up again it's been very hot this week and I think the plants have been enjoying that it has been a little wet this week as well which has been nice parsley is making this lovely little um, this carpet actually um, the chives are doing all right um, avocados doing quite well so is the lime all right it is the uh, it is the 2nd of July uh, no it's not it's the 2nd of April and uh, welcome back to the garden I all the stuff I promised to do in the March video, I kind of didn't do. Uh, the only thing I've done is weed out the weeds and give the place a water from time to time when it hasn't been raining. You can see I've just watered, so my absolute carpet here of parsley is looking a little bit flat. But the um, the hollyhocks are looking good, the fennel's growing up there. That's doing what it does. Oh, kia ora. welcome back to the garden. It is uh, Easter Sunday and of course it's been raining because it wouldn't be an Auckland Sunday or let alone an Auckland Easter without it pouring with rain. Alright, it is the uh, 30th of April. I'm back here in the garden for the first time in basically a month uh, because the day after I was last here I came down with COVID and I basically spent two weeks in bed. So this has been my first time being able to come back uh, and we currently have a storm blowing in the weather the wind is coming up and it's been bucketing up with rain right now it's only spitting so I'm quickly coming out and getting this this footage uh, we can see Hansi's coming up nicely the parsley is gone for Africa the, the fennel is suffering oh there goes a tram the hollyhock is still flowering so I'm helping out new flowers um, I've got some chilies coming up off the tree that we thought was dead. Oh, kia ora. another Sunday here in the Lopman Garden. Once again, we've had another tropical storm come through. Uh, we had gust force winds on Friday and Saturday, uh, which means that I got to spend my birthday being rained on and having to shelter inside. The bridges were closed. Uh, we've had a not overly warm, cold, moist, damp summer, and everything's just Everything's struggling, and I gotta admit I'm struggling too. No plantings happened, no weedings happened, no pickings happened. But uh, I guess when I decided that I'd bring you along for the journey, that was the downs as well as the ups. So, um, yeah. All right, first time back here in a while. It is the last weekend of July. Everything is looking overgrown. There's literal rubbish in here, weeds galore. Parsley's gone crazy, things are drowned, things are surviving. Uh, I completely missed the windows to get tulips and irises this year. So I'm going to do my best with some daffodils. Alright, and so this is the before, and and here's the after. Through here it doesn't look all that much different, but I've taken quite a bit of grass out. All of that was weeds, um, with a couple of surprisingly thriving plants in there. Uh, and same over here. And I think, I think this might be last year's irises coming back, uh, a couple of them. It feels kind of good to get back into the garden having not been in for a couple of months. Um, it is very cold today, um, reminding me of how unpleasant it can be in the garden sometimes. Uh, and it's just the way that this year has been, it's just continuously cold, continuously wet. It is what it is, we'll see what we can do. Ka kite ano. I also helped out the other day with, with coming through and clearing some of Mo's garden here. He's got some really beautiful things. He's got um, um, some Iranian herbs that he's uh, managed to get imported into the country, um, including this thistle, which of course I forgot it was a thistle, and when I was trying to peg it, I uh, grabbed it and hurt myself. So uh, don't do that. Um, but he's got some beautiful mint and parsley in here. All right, well, it's the middle of August, and things are. Wet again, what a surprise, it wouldn't be Auckland if it wasn't continuously wet. The tap's dripping, so of course that's not making anything drier. But um, I'm glad to see the weeds haven't sprung back quite so quickly, and the pl couple of plants that I managed to, to, to replant are starting to, to take, uh, take again. Um, I thought this was an iris coming back, um, but apparently this is actually going to be a tulip. Well given that I'm getting married next month, maybe I might be lucky and have a tulip at my wedding. All right, uh, well, I have given it a bit of a weed. It's 
still not quite perfect, but um, yeah, certainly tidied it up around the pak choy, uh, trimmed off a little bit on the lemon tree, which I was not going to do, but then I realized that we had all this growth along here. Um, so there was no point in keeping some of the, the slightly more dead stuff. Um, I might need to come along and tidy that up a bit more. Uh, and I pulled out some weeds and trimmed down the height of the parsley, but I mean, that'll do for today, I guess. Well, this is the December update. Uh, it has been a, a week, 10 days since I was last here, and it has been wet and hot. So everything has exploded, which the bees are loving, of course. Uh, we've got a lovely wee bee there. Unfortunately, the flies are loving it too, and so are some of the other pests. This will be my last update for 2023, um, but I'm going to clear all of this out, leave it barren, uh, for a couple of weeks to help clear some of the pests out, clear some of the weeds out and then start some new planting even though it's way past planting season but you know too bad it's my garden I can do what I like. Well so from me to you uh, and my wee little allotment garden here um, thanks for joining me this year and uh, happy holidays and we'll see you again real soon. Matiwa.